if you have clicked on this video, I guess maybe you're curious about how to create lattice cell structures, where the unit cell is a combination of a simple cubic with a body-centered structure. If that is true, then welcome. Here is the right video for you. I'm going to show you how to create this sort of unit cell and the representative volume element for this type of lattice cell structure. Let's sit back and relax as we get started with this modeling. Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. Welcome to CR Videos. This is a YouTube channel where we try to help you create effective computational modeling solutions to whatever computational problem that you're dealing with. As we get started with this modeling, there are five critical steps that we have to put in place if we are able to create this SC with a BCC unit cell. The first step is to create the simple cubic unit cell. Then step two, to create the body-centered cubic unit cell. Step three, we combine the SC with the BCC unit cell. And then step four, because there are going to be extra materials, we'll need to trim extra materials to preserve the integrity of our unit cell. And then step five, we'll go on to create other representative volume elements for this structure. The reference publication I'm going to be using to, as I make this video, will be a paper that is published in Composite Structures with the details given here. Now, in terms of the virtual domain, our virtual domain is going to be something of the length of 4 by 4 by 4 so it would look like this. So basically what we have here is a simple cubic with also the body-centered cubic structure with the body-centered uh, unit cell and these are the dimensions of them. If we look more closely on the struts that are used in this design, every strut will have a diameter 1.5 millimeters. For the BCC structure there will be an orientation of 45 degrees for them. Clearly the body, the simple cubic ones will be 0 and 90 degrees. The strut length within the structure will be 4 millimeters and a strut design for the BCC will obviously have a BCC arrangement while the other case will just be a body centered arrangement. So if we look more closely on the BCC what we are going to do is that we are going to create the structure of the strut looking a bit like this slightly bigger than the original 4 millimeters so we're going to make it a little bit longer than that so that in the end we're going to trim off the central region here so that we have a nice structure that looks like that so at the end of this what we're going to be doing first is to create the simple cubic cell and then we'll combine that with the body centered cubic unit cell and then finally we get the assembly which is our body centered cubic structure so that's the principle that we're going to be using in making this video this is a typical example of the results in terms of the rv length scale that we're going to generate from this so it's a three by three by three simple cubic with a body centered lattice structure if we move on to model this we can model that using a titanium alloy so let's now go into abagus and begin this modeling so here we are in Abacus. Clearly the first step we need to work with is to create the simple cubic unit cell and let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is to create the cylinder. So with the cylinder we're going to extrude the model. So we start by creating the center of the cylinder. So it's 0, 0 and it's 0 0.75 in radius because it's a diameter of 1.5. And then we're going to extrude it by how long we want this to be which is four millimeters. So that's one of the cylinder for the simple cubic unit cell. So we just go and create the instance here. So that's an instance of that. Then we simply need to just pattern it. So we want distance of separation of four. So we've got that arrangement that way. So this is okay. So the next thing we need to do now is to pattern the system again. Okay. And just have something like that, So which is fine. However, we need to rotate this extra system in a vertical sense so we'll have all four selected and we'll rotate it about the y-axis a 90 degrees or distance of 90 degrees so this is fine and then we need to translate it into position so we select all four and then translate it let's say from this point to that point so that creates the vertical part of the system so if we look at it from the side all right so we then need to partition to generate another instance okay of the system so again the distance of four and we'll take this out okay now we we'll look at what we've done so basically we've got this extra four here that we need to rotate so we'll go ahead and rotate that 
Now what we are uh, we're trying to rotate, we want to rotate the last four. So we we'll press down control and select all the four. Now, how are we going to rotate it to form? So we need to rotate about the z-axis also by 90 degrees. So that gets us into this window. Then clearly what we need to do is to move it from this so that we have a complete system. So we're going to translate. Again, we need to select all four of them. So we just go to the end and press down shift and select all four of them. So how are we going to do? We're going to translate it. Okay, so maybe we'll start from this point. Now we're going to make it to rhyme up and match up with what we have here. Okay, so that gives us our simple cubic cell arrangement. So it's perfect and then we just need to assemble them together. So simple cubic um, unit cell. So that's what we're going to call that. We return all intersections and we have it. So perfect. Then all we need to do with this is to go into the assembly module, into the part module and do some trimming so that we get it into the right shape. So we we'll select on that. Now we can select that face and that edge. Now, okay, we we'll get it into the window. So what we want is to move from here to that point and then we we'll get a bigger one as well. So we'll click done. So it needs to cut through. So this is fine. So we'll do the same now at the top. So we'll do a similar thing. So we need to start from here and end there. And then we we'll get a bigger one and click done. So this needs to cut through. So that gives us a simple cubic cell. Then we could also aim and see if we can get this bit out as well so that we can get all, all, all angles taken care of. So we start from here and we end up there. We get it more into the window and we finish. So this comes now again. So we've got a perfect simple cubic cell arrangement looking correctly, which is what we have here. Now we need to then think about the body centered cubic cell. So we'll start again by saying, okay, let's call this a strut, strut one. And we're going to use a stripping action to create that. So I'm just going to create a line to indicate the flow of the strut. So minus six, minus six, and then six, six. So that becomes our strut. And then we need to tell it what geometric pattern that he wants. We want a circle starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.050. So that's what our circle would look like. So we're happy with that. So now that gives us our strut arrangement. So which will be the first strut, strut one. So I'm going to create another copy, which I'm going to call strut two. And now with this strut tool, all we need to do when we open it up, all we need to do is to change the path. So currently this path is angle 45. So we're going to have to rotate it. So you click and hold and go to the rotation button. So I want to move it. And this is the entity. I select that, rotating it about 0, 09. If we rotate that, that will give us 90. Okay. So we we'll rotate it by 90 degrees to get it at the other angle. And that's fine. Now it doesn't seem like anything has happened. So we need to regenerate. So we then have the model. So if we then go back into our assembly module, so let's just go into the assembly module. Clearly, we the, the lot of instances we can suppress this for now because we're going to release it later on. So we'll suppress it and then double click on that. So basically the two struts, we need to bring them together, get them into this view. So it looks what we want to expect. So I'm going to combine the two. So I'm going to call it body centered cubic half. So it's half one, so just one part of it, continue and then you create this. All right, so now we need to another instance of it, which is body center one, so that we now have two of them in the window. Now what we need to do is to do a rotationing of one of the parts. So we we'll select this, what instance are we looking to rotate part two? And we're going to rotate it about the vertical axis here, which is the Y axis by 90 degrees. So that gives us now a structure that looks like our body centered cubic structure with the intersection in the middle. So this is a center where everything is intersecting. Now, finally, we just need to say, okay, our BCC unit cell. Okay. We accept everything that we have there and that gives us the structure. Now, so what we have is a BCC unit cell. So now I can go back and release the SC unit cell. So if I resume that, so you can see the two of them are together in the window as we would expect. Okay. So what we're going to do is to check if everything is fine the way it is. Okay. This was in the origin. So all we need to do is to translate it into the middle. So if I select 
this BCC system, I want to translate it from the origin where it is to the center of the structure. And the center of the structure will be 2, 2, 2 in all direction. So we're going to do 2, 2, 2. So 2, 2, 2 and enter. So that takes us into the center of the structure in every case. So everything looks perfect as we can see now. What we need to do is to aim at translate to trim cut. But that's the next thing. So we just have to create the... So I'm going to call this particular model the SCBCC um, unit cell. So because that's what we want to get. Now I select everything here and click done. So now we go back to the top end here. We can see the SCC unit cell appears the way it is. This is where we're now going to step four, which is trimming. So we're going to step four, which is to trim. So what we then do here is to find this window. Now, create a square inside the shape that we are interested in. Get a bigger one involved and then done. So this will extrude through that material. So we cut most of it, which is good. Now we'll go to the top and do the same from the top. Okay. So again, we'll put a square, which defines the RV size that we're looking at, and then get a bigger one in place, and then click done. So we'll look again, it looks all right. So we can shoot cut, and then we need to do the same on this other plane. So all three planes will help us with our shoot cutting. So we'll select from here to there, and then we'll need to get everything in place in the window, and then click done. So, so this way, we now have a simple cubic cell with a BCC unit cell. So they are all combined and they look excellently nice. So we can then work model with this unit cell, but clearly the next step is our step five, where we need to create other representative volume elements based on this. So what, how do we do that? So what we're going to do is to go to the assembly module. So then there are a lot of things that are hidden, but clearly only one that we want. So what we need to do when we go to the assembly mode is just to see a simple patterning of the system. So we'll click on that and select the pattern that we want. Now, okay, so this is fine. So we've got a two by two, which could be one example that we're interested in, but we would like to do, okay, let's start with a two by two. So we'll create a two by two, which is the system. Okay, now we need to do further patterning of that. So we we'll select that system again. Now, what we don't want, we don't want a patterning in that direction and we want a distance of four. However, we need to go at another axis. So the axis of alignment would have to be the Z axis. So we'll zoom in until we can see the Z. We we'll select the Z axis and then look at, does everything work? Yes, so everything seems to work. And this is a perfect two by two structure. So we can go ahead and say, okay, uh, this SC, BCC, RVE, two by two, okay? and remove all intersections, get everything in the window and then click done. So that gives us a good model, which is a SC structure. So let's say we want to do maybe a six by six, okay? So we can start with the same model that we have here and just go ahead and say, okay, fine. We want to pattern that a little bit more. So we select that now. Okay, we we'll see it gives us two by two. So can we just go and do three by three in every direction? Okay, so we have, if you then look at it properly, so got two by six perfect in that window, then we click okay. Now we need to do the same on the other axis as well. So partition the whole assembly and we want it no more in that direction. So clearly we want in a different axis. So we zoom in here until we find the Z axis like we did before. So I'll just zoom in here. Once the color changes, then I know that I'm in the Z axis. Okay, then I'll, I'll go back and see clearly the separation apart is too much. Now what we want is to make sure that we have the right length. So each of these is essentially four. So twice, two of them may be eight. So if we make that eight, so you can see matches up nicely. Okay, matches up nicely and we can see, all right. So we want just one more and click okay. So that gives us a six by six unit cell arrangement. So we then go ahead and say, okay, SC, BCC, RVE, six by six. Okay, so we select everything that we have here and this will assemble. So that's it. We have a six by six RV 
of a super complicated um, system consisting of everything that we need if you're interested in this kind of videos i've got a playlist which is here if you're also interested in just doing this at a unit cell model for this uh, simple cubic pcc unit cell please look at this video thank you for your interest in this channel and bye bye